Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy. I've got a fun workout for you today. It's an ultimate compound workout. So, regular compound exercises might be like a squat thrust, a multi muscle, multi joint. But now I'm gonna add multiple movements into each exercise. So, it might be a squat thrust while hitting a reverse lunge. That is gonna get the heart rate up. I'll lead you on a warm up and we'll end with a cool down. You're going to require a variety of dumbbells in the workouts. So make sure that you grab those. Also, don't forget, we do have a membership that you can be a part of. It's a wonderful group of ladies. Click the card at the top of the screen. And if you want more accountability, workouts, nutrition information, make sure that you join us over there. All right, are you ready to move daily? Ah, let's do it. Strength training on my watch today. All right, let's start with a reach across here. Yeah, heart rates will be up, but if there's no cardio per se, it's just gonna be that compound strength. Always killer for me, but fun. All right, up and over here. <clears throat> it's been a few days since I've done a strength or um, resistance training workout. We were hiking all weekend uh, on a girls weekend, so that was great fun. All right, arm circles here. So a lot of the legs, high, steep inclines on that hike, and long hikes, like 10, 10 kilometers or so each time. Switch directions, but you know it's different, right? I like incorporating both into my life. I love hiking, it's my favorite thing to do for sure. The views, oh my goodness. All right, take it wide, let's touch our toes. Also, I just got these new Lululemon shorts. I'll link them below because they are one of the only pair of high-waisted, well, they're not really high, but they're higher. They're not low-rise, let's just say that. And so they go right to my belly button, which is nice. Keep everything in, you know? All right, let's squat round toes here. And wide, drop. Take it wide and open in the chest. <clears throat> One more here. I'm gonna just face the toes front, little side to side lunge, really slow here, lengthening it through that inner thigh a bit. There is one side lunge in this workout. Oh, I didn't mention our format. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between. And uh, we are going to do three exercises per circuit and repeat three rounds. Okay, oh, just lunge from the front. Bring your feet in slightly. And we're gonna squat down, touch the ceiling or reach for the ceiling. And up, right to your tiptoes here. Stretch those calves out. And there. All right. Mm, I think we're ready. Here we go. I'm going to start with the ultimate deadlift because love it. And it's the fun one. So there's the five exercises in the ultimate deadlift, just starting with the deadlift high pull. I'm going to use my 12s for round one as I'm still in warm up. Here we go. So deadlift, high pull, squat, curl, press. That's your combo. Probably use 12 throughout uh, most of these exercises round one here. And like I said, as I'm getting more warm, I'll wrap it up. I 
All right, down for your renegade row, push up, jack. So you're gonna row, row, then do a push up, then jack the feet, and repeat. All right, bum down, here we go. And row, other side row, push up here, and jack. Feel free to put your hands on the ground for the push-up if you feel better about that. Deadlift, high pull, keep shoulder width, deadlift here, squat curl press. slightly.
three. See, heart rate's climbing. No cardio involved. Shake it out. Back to your ultimate deadlift. Stick your chest out. Hinge up right here. Squat curl press. Those knees don't come together on your squat. Whew. Whew. All right, we're gonna get a row, push up. Get ready, two rows to start, here we go. Whew. Add that push up and your jack. Press is hard now. Keep it tight. 10 seconds, let's go. Last, and press, and. Okay, good, here's your next three exercises. Reverse lunge, press, curl. I'm gonna grab the eights, palms will be up. You're gonna reverse lunge here. Press and high knee. We'll stay on the same side until I call half. Palms up, shoulders back. Left knee back, so you're down and up. Same side, low, and press, you got it. So you turn the palms around to hit that palm up bicep curl. Take your time here. All right, switch legs. Take it back, high knee. Take 110, hit that plie, skull crusher front. So everything is gonna be down, then press up, front and back. Here we go. And take it down, up, right to the chest, and down, up, slow. Good. Core engages when you come to the front, doesn't it? Right there. Ten is light for the tries, but fine for the shoulders. 
Last here. Okay. Push up. Superman crunch, Superman crunch. Into a floppy push up. Spider Man crunch. I always forget these superheroes. All right, start with your push up. Push up here, knee out to the side, other side. Then push up down to your stomach and up. Again, push up. Spider Man, Spider Man, stomach and up. Push up. Spider, Spider, stomach. Here we go. Take it down, up, bring it to center, and back. Have a good grip. push up back to the push up modify from the knees if you need starting with your push up here we go down knee knee stomach press push up Give you any overhead presses next round. Switch legs.
the eight. And stick with the 10. You can also hold it this way if you feel better or safer that way. Here we go. Everything down, up, tight, up. some water join me for circuit three we're gonna start with the front lunge press halo so you'll front lunge press the dumbbell halo switch legs and switch halo directions I'm using a 12 ready ha here we go front lunge here press up halo here switch legs right there good on the up down if you need. Blast off here and repeat. I come all the way back, my knees kind of touch the ground on the blast off. Nice and wide. Definitely feel the quads in that blast up. Okay, your last exercise is gonna be a squat, deadlift, front squat. So suitcase, then deadlift, then front, I'm holding 12s. Suitcase, deadlift, flip it up, and front. Suitcase, deadlift, flip, and
Good. All right. Back to the top. Oh, there's Lily. Going into the front lunge, press halo, holding my 12. Ready, and press up and halo, switch legs. really need some good range of motion. This exercise here, if you don't have it, just give me that front press only. Work. Last one here. Good. Okay. Up, down. Start with your up down plank, bum down, and reach your back. shoulder width. So case here, deadlift here, flip for your front loaded squat.
uh, I'm gonna go to 15s on this last round of the legs. I think again. Feet shoulder width. Squat, deadlift. Okay, bend your front squat. Lock and load, drop. Last year. Boom. Very good. Okay. Take a water break. Turn it back. This one's a hard work for me. You're gonna do a side lunge, front raise, reverse lunge, lateral. I'm just using fives because it's it's challenging. So you're gonna be here and then here. I'll call halfway. We'll switch sides. Ready. You could also do a squat if you're not comfortable with a lunge. Last one here. Switch your lunge. Here we go. By just coming here or here. I'm gonna do the full one. Here we go. So up, knees behind, up, stand, knees down, hand, swing the foot, lie it down. One more on this side. Number 12 is challenging my arm. Switch sides. A lot of you don't like this. It's such a good move. It's so good for core strength, stability, core activation. Let's work. Okay, you're going into a pull complex. There's the three exercises. I'm going to use the 12s. Bent over row, hammer, upright row. Inch forward and Row, pull, hammer, pull, upright, row, hinge forward, row, stand, hammer, high pull. If you get the order mixed up, don't worry, okay? Reverse lunge, lateral. Whoo! Good. Here we go. And right here. Shoulders back and here. All right. Gonna switch sides. Here we go. Nice flat back on that front raise. Stay tall. Nice. Turkish. 
Then I grab my 12. Two on each side for me. It's all I get in. And up, hand behind, tuck the leg, kneel, stand, kneel, hand, sweep, lie down. Switch sides. Please let me know in the comments below if you get the Turkish, if you love it, like I do. Especially members, I want to hear from you girls who can do this one. Very good. So good. Man, I love that. All right, I'm gonna stick with 12s on the crush. So I'm out of breath. That's good. Hinge, here we go. Boom. Stand, hammer, full upright, up. Basically, is what I'm getting. Or partial. Here we go. Switch sides. Lots of flexibility in the hips as well. If you don't got it, that can be worked on. Huh. Good job. Okay, crush complex. Last one here. Back to a row. Hammer. Starting on your back with 
with a chest press fly combo coming up. All right, chest press, fly. I'm gonna grab my 12s, I think, for this. Flies are harder for me. On your back, so you're gonna come press, turn narrow, fly, and narrow, and down. Here we go. Start wide, turn narrow, fly, and then come down and press again. As you're going toward the center, you're turning. Wide, turn, narrow, fly, and press. You got it? Good, set those down. You're gonna do a full sit up, alternating toe touch. So you're here, hands come behind, up, opposite hand touches opposite foot. Then we switch sides. Make sure your weights are clear. Here we go. Full sit up here, hand to toe, all the way back, switch sides, hand to toe. Even with fives, feet shoulder width. Start here, then squat, then bring to the front. All right, up, squat, front, stand. I'm like that's easy, is it?
All right, up for your squat lateral. You definitely wouldn't need to do arms tomorrow. I would do cardio or a leg day. Here we go. I was going to add a glute thrust or bicycle to this, but I'm trying to explain the hand motion on this. I'm sure some of you are still like, what are you talking about, lady? Great for chest here. Whew, that's good. Anyway, if you do this one again, feel free to add the lower body to that as well. All right, ready? We'll sit up. <laughs> Alarms! Here we go! Press it up. here. All right, last exercise. You've done it. That's a good workout. Ultimate compound sequence. Loved it. Up, squat, front, there we go. Shoulders back. Oops. seconds. Anyone can do anything for 10. Last five, four, three, two, one and done. You can move daily in your ultimate compound workout. I loved it. Hey, if you have an idea for another compound exercise that maybe I missed, write it in the comments below. See you in the next workout. Well, that was fabulous. Take yourself on a wall or something that's going to a chest stretch, okay? Feeling the front shoulder, biceps, chest right now. A lot of push-ups, up down plank, chest press, and then shoulders. So definitely let those rest tomorrow and do something like lower body cardio. Even more abs, we had a few abs in there, but nothing too bad. Cardio and ab would be a good combo tomorrow. Oh. That was hard. Let's go into the stretch here. Wider than shoulder width, elbows on one leg, grab the outside of your thigh, reach the thumb to the ceiling, and roll that wrist up there too. Oh, that was good. Well, thanks for joining. I 
like I said, came off of a girls weekend, switch sides. We hiked a lot. I had energy, but um, it was harder to rally after the weekend sometimes. Sometimes you're like, okay, I can do this. Other days you're like, bed sounds good. It was cooler here today, so looks like the sun is out now though. It's funny how the weather can impact your mood so much, which is why you don't necessarily have to rely on motivation because that wanes, that ebbs and flows like based on so many things like seasons, arms behind the back, seasons of life, weather, you know, what's going on in your life, stress levels. And so relying on structure is a great way to approach a fitness routine and a dedication to changing your lifestyle. Knees together, hips forward. Um, I just talked about this the other day. So many people make fat or weight loss a goal instead of the goal is every day I'm working toward, I'm striving toward creating a lifestyle, an environment, friendships, um, you know, and a mindset that enables me to be better than I was yesterday. And so what does that look like for you? What does it look like in your fitness, in your wellness, in your nutrition, and all of those little tiny micro processes that you do each and every day, that's coming to a side stretch, can really add up to changing the trajectory of your life and making you incrementally better than you were yesterday.